If you started the series with Dark Souls 3, then many things in Dark Souls Remastered will seem familiar. Here are just some of the people and the places that persisted through the ages. Deep below the smouldering lake of Dark Souls 3 lies the remnants of an ancient civilization. This place, and the demons that now creep through it, trace their roots all the way back to the lost city of Isolith, where the old witch once attempted to create a fire of beginning for herself. She would fail, giving birth to chaos and demons instead. Through the rotting forests of Farron stands a cast of warriors locked in unending combat. These are the Abyss Watchers, pledged to cleanse the Abyss wherever it rises. They owe their legacy to a famous Abyss Walker, who was long ago rumoured to have conquered the Abyss in Ulysseal. But legends aren't always as they seem. Atop the frozen city of Irithyll stands the ruined cathedral of Anor Londo. The sun has long since set upon this place in Dark Souls 3, but in Dark Souls Remastered, we see the palace in its former glory, as if the sun never set, and as if the gods never left. When you experience the remaster, be sure to return to Firelink Shrine as often as you can, as it's this well-traveled resting ground for the weary and the crestfallen. The very same is true of Dark Souls 3's Firelink Shrine. It's this constant throughout the ages of a world unwilling to give up its fire and the sacrifices that are necessary to fuel it. The Shrine of Dark Souls 3, you'll remember, was home to a humble blacksmith from Astora, Andre, with his smithy in the undead parish of Dark Souls Remastered, remains this steadfast companion as we return to the game that started it all. Well, hello again. You seem to be doing all right. Need anything forged? 